Hello guys, I'm back with another video, and today we'll be focusing on productivity in the Surface Duo. Some of the essential things that you will need is a Bluetooth keyboard, a Bluetooth mouse, a Surface Pen possibly. Now I have the Microsoft Wedge keyboard, which is very, very premium. Uh, I have the Microsoft mouse, you know, semi, it's premium, but it's not the high dollar one. So I'll just show you what, everything that I have connected, and the mouse works wonderfully on this thing. I'm using this mouse and I also have the wedge keyboard connected so I'm just going to show you guys what I have connected currently. I have my Microsoft Wedge mobile keyboard, the Surface mobile mouse, and that's my uh, Fitbit Iconic. So but anyway let's go focus on getting something done here. I have my screen laid out that uh, you know it's kind of laid out according to my day and that's what I think that anybody who chooses this device needs to know their use case for it. I mean, I can find use for that both in uh, work life and personal life, of course. So I know I have some things that I needed to do that I didn't get done during the week at work or they sent it after hours. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do that. I'm going to go ahead and launch what I have labeled, the group I have labeled Inbox, just so you guys can see where this information is coming from. Uh, right here, as you can see, the first item that to do, it, it it used artificial intelligence to scan my, my inbox and it knows things where I guess specific verbiage is used in the email so it notifies me that certain things need to be done and I think it's really cool so I can click on that and then I can uh, I can also tell it to open it in Outlook which you'll see that Outlook is open here to the right because it's part of my group but I'll go ahead and tell it to open it anyway because that's specific email which is cool so now I'm gonna go ahead and swipe this off the off the screen and I'm gonna open up my productivity uh, grouping because this is what we use. I don't need this side, but just so you guys can see this, this is a very productive thing and you can actually get some real work done on this device. It may take a while to load. I'm also the information technology director at the company, so I do some uh, planning and manufacturing sides of things as well because we're a small business, so of course we do a lot of things. This is my Microsoft Office interface, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing started because I know I need to send a request for quote out to a company. So I'm going to go into my uh, vendors. I'm going to search for the particular vendor. And the keyboard's working great too. So I'm going to open up that particular vendor right there. And I could hit more. I don't, you, you guys don't need to see all that. but. At any rate, I'm going to go ahead and say what I need to do. Um, there's so many things to scroll through here, but anyway, what I'm going to end up doing, I'm just going to go back. I'm just going to swipe and go back and get out of this all the way out. And so what I'm going to do here is go here because here I get a bigger list of what I need to do. And I'm going to click on purchase quotes here. And then now I'm going to look for that vendor. Okay. And I'm going to add a new purchase quote. So there we go. So now I'm going to type in the vendor name. Okay. I'm going down to the lines. I'm going to select the item. And that's going to be search. sure that that's the right part number. Yep. ME 3434T 18,700P. So that would be correct. So once I do that, I'm going to tell it how many quantity I have to do. So how long am I going to do a line of 100? I'm going to add 
another item. And the reason I'm doing that so many is because it's a volume quote. So I have to do several items. So we do 100, 300, 500, 1,000, 5,000, and 10,000 is how we you know get our quotes so and we already have the quantities you know the pricing the volume pricing is already there so I mean so it's going to be the 500 line there. I'm going to go back into this line. I'm going to remove the pricing there. Go back because I want to get fresh pricing from the supplier just to see if our pricing gets better. That's the latest item we have in the long list of uh, purchase orders for the company Golden Bridge. So we produce that, and um, if I wanted to, what I'll do here, I'll go back and look for Golden Bridge. Uh, one of the things I wish was here, and it could be is um I'd like to know I can't put it in chronological order so I just kind of gotta scroll through it and let's see what this one is that's the last one so let's see 100 300 500 1000 5000 and the last line was a 10,000 so that's good so I was just reviewing the actual order I could hit show more here and it shows me the vendor number and other things related to that. Now, when I get ready to send this out, see there's no pricing or anything on it, I'd go down here to the ellipsis and I would say, you know, attach as a PDF or print and send. So normally what we do here is I hit this send button and I go ahead and hit check. And then what I do, it normally goes out to Scott, but I'm gonna go ahead and just send it to myself so you guys can see that um, it goes to my email. And I'm going to 
else I send to send pausing quote quote oh, all right quote request to BBE that's how we shorten it up check it off Sent it off. Let's go to focus inbox or the other. I'll probably need to refresh that. here because I have those uh, our email that comes out is called e sales where the email comes from and I have rules set where those items go to that particular box because I get so many so many emails I, I kind of organize it and you see this is how you'll know that it's the one I sent it says send volume quote request to GBE and if I were to open it up you can see those lines I'd have to zoom in, but you see the lines are for 100, 300, 500, 1,000, 5,000, and 10,000. So that's would be, that would be how we get things done on the surf, Surface Mobile, Surface Duo. And if we wanted to print it, you can see I can print that as well. But I haven't set up my printer here, but I guess if I click this button, it'll be telling me, hey, you need to set up the printer, you know. But that's actually really, really cool that the Duo can do all this stuff. So... If I really needed to, I can get a lot of stuff done on this device. So that's kind of it for the day. I can even administer, you know, administer users and groups uh, from my uh, Dynamics 365. So we got a couple of employees that are no longer with the company. I can go right here on this person and just delete them or do whatever it is that I need to do in reference to these employees. And that means I can do it with or without the mouse and keyboard. But this is pretty nice to be able to sit at your desk and get that stuff done. Uh, if you find this video helpful and useful, please hit the thumbs up button, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.